All right, so this is the first time I've tried this new uh, Blue Apron. Um, and so I finally got my first shipment here. Crispy salmon, blackened chicken, Korean pork tacos. Um, and the package just came today. So we're gonna open it up, take a look, and I'll probably cook a meal tomorrow and see how that turns out. All right, so this box showed up at our front door and I still haven't opened it yet, uh, but we're about to. Pretty convenient packaging. Let's cut this open. And let's see what do we have. The recipes uh, come on the side. Um, and so there's, you know, the Korean pork tacos, blackened chicken, crispy salmon. Um, let's see. Has ingredients, knickknacks, and then step-by-step uh, -step instructions. All right. And some random fun facts, apparently. So we have tomatoes, lime, let's see what else we got, cilantro, Michael, look at this, cucumber, Gigantic ice pack. Oh, this is all the freezer stuff. So we have the pork here. Uh, let's see. This is the chicken. Oh, okay. So, and then the, the salmon. And then another big ice pack on the bottom. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. Nicely packaged. Uh, I wonder what these knickknacks are, though. So let's see. Crispy salmon knickknacks. Oh, okay. So, we have the sauce and stuff. And what else? A uh, little onion kind of thing. Alright. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll be making one of these uh, meals and we'll see how it turns out. Alright. It's finally time make that salmon and so before we start you gotta you know, wake up a little bit to some coffee Alright, so now we can begin. Alright, so today we'll be making the crispy salmon. Uh, and so let me pull out these ingredients from the box. Alright, so just as they have laid out here, we have all of our stuff right here. So it says it'll take, it'll make two servings, it'll take 15 minutes, um, and it should take 15 to 25 minutes. So right now it is uh, 7.16, so I don't know, let's say it's going to take me a half an hour because I'm probably slow, so 7.45 hopefully. Um, and we should be done here, so. All right, first step, prepare the ingredients. All right, so it says to get a pot of boiling water started. Uh, boiling salted water, so. All right, should be good. Get the stove on, get the salt, let's see. This is a little difficult because I'm doing it with one hand. Ooh. 
give it a good little stir. Alright, excellent. Alright, next off is wash your dishes, or wash your uh, fruit and produce. Uh, so I can't do this with, with, with one hand, so. Garlic, one of the best parts. No idea how to do this, so I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, smack it. So it says we need two of these, so the rest I'll just save it for the other recipe. Chop, chop, chop. Well, actually, since I love garlic so much, it says use two, but let's do three, or maybe four. Alright, so now we got our garlic. Uh, next up is onion. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that smells so good. I love onions. Oh, can't get it off with one hand. Alright, time to start chopping. Uh, let's skip it ahead. We gotta put this in the boiling water since it's already boiling. Uh, so let's see, it says seven to eight minutes in this little this pot of boiling water, so... Here we are. Alright, back to the garlic. So we got this uh, washed produce that now we're gonna prep these as well. So the lemon, pretty straightforward. This ready to be uh, squeezed out. Next, we got green beans. So now we have our green beans. Uh, let's see what else do we need. We have this parsley that we're supposed to chop up. And then we're supposed to peel this cucumber, so... And then we're supposed to pull the dill off the stems, so... And then finally we're supposed to cut the cucumber. Alright, voila! Let's see. Uh, so we've got the bean, the uh, pasta going. Uh, let's see, and then now we're supposed to cook the green beans. Um, in a pan. Alright, so we got a pan. Putting that on high heat. Don't have olive oil, but I have vegetable oil. Alright, let's see. Uh, so we're supposed to have the shallots, onions, and green or shallots, green beans, and garlic. Here we go. Give it a good mix. Let it cook for a little bit. Mm. Looking pretty good so far. All right, now for the salad, we gotta add the cucumbers. So we have that. And the parsley. Uh, the sour cream. Two lemon wedges, or the uh, the juice of it. Oh boy! Let this cool off for a little bit. Give this a quick stir. Add a little bit of oil. After this has been cooking for seven to eight minutes, you have to drain it under warm water. So let that water heat up. Give it a good drain. Toss this dill in the salad. Season your green beans with some pepper. Alright, so this looks like it's almost done cooking. So we'll add this stuff to our salad. Give this a good little mix. Well, that looks pretty good. It smells really good. And we want to give this a crack of the whip. 
Yeah, look at that. Lastly, we have a salmon. Mm. There we go. All right, so we asked to be seasoned with some salt and pepper. So now I'll be adding this straight into my pan and we'll let that cook for the 35 minutes. Let's start laying the groundwork for these plates. Start off with the salad and then you add your pasta. So here are the pasta now. Alright, back to the pot. Get a flipperoo, flip over. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's flip this back over and pop it on the plate. Let's see how it looks. Look at that. Oopsies. There we go. There we go. First one. Beautiful. Oh man, look at that. And then, to top it off, a little bit of pepper. And, <sighs> voila. So the time is now 7.53, so it took me a little longer than half an hour, but at the same time I was trying to make this video, so. Um, at worst case scenario, what is that? It takes you, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. The worst part about all of this is having to clean everything up. But now we get to enjoy this really good looking meal. All right. So now the moment of truth, we shall serve the judge. So here's what it looks like. Got the the uh, pasta in the middle, the cucumber salad on the bottom, and that fish on top, and you got my coffee still. All right, Michael, you want to dig in? Mm. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Nice and pink. Mm. Oh, man. This is a lot fancier than anything I would make if I went to go buy ingredients at the supermarket. Hmm. Alright Michael, take your first bite. Let's see what you think. The fish or the rice? Whatever you want. Let's dig in. What do you think? The rice is a little soft. Yeah, it's a little soft. I put it in there for too little too long. That's actually pasta, by the way. That's, that might be why it's soft. That's pasta? Mm-hmm. How's it taste, though? This onion? No. <laughs> I forgot. I know there's something. I knew there's something. Anyways. What do you think, Michael? I'm not a big fan of this. This whole pasta this, thing? This flavoring, yeah. Mm. I don't like it. Sour, it's a, the only seasoning was like sour cream is the sauce for that pasta salad. And the fish tastes like fish, so the fish was good. Okay. I appreciate the fish. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just not so sure about this bottom stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's something that's... A little uh, Mediterranean too much for you? I don't know. I don't like it on my... It's okay. Okay. I'd, I'd probably... I wouldn't order this. The fish is good. Mm -hmm. I think just the side dish probably could be better. Right. And the cucumber, I like, but I like cucumbers though. So. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I've had to rate this. It'd be a, if it wasn't for the side dish, it would be higher. So based on the side dish, I'm probably gonna have to give it a six. All right. That's uh, that's what it is. It's a six out of ten. So you guys, you guys heard it on the one and only. Mike's super short show. All right, guys. So stay tuned for next week. We'll uh, we've got Korean pork tacos left, 
and uh, blackened chicken with some zucchini rice, I think it was, or whatever it was. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first time trying it. Uh, a little sloppy because I was trying to cut vegetables and take make a video with one hand, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it.